iPhone cameras are typically known to have colorful, balanced photos and the iPhone 8 is no exception. Today I'm gonna share the samples I've clipped using the iPhone 8. The iPhone 8 has a 12 megapixel camera sensor with an f1.8 aperture with optical image stabilization. The iPhone 8 uses face detection autofocus and it is not the fastest in segment. Let's jump into the camera UI using the 3D touch functionality. We are greeted by a very familiar iOS camera screen and swiping on the right switches between the different photo modes which are available and also takes us to the video time-lapse and slow motion modes. The iPhone 8 can shoot video in a lot of different formats and frame rates but it's quite cumbersome to go to settings, the camera and then change the settings each and every time. Daylight shots on the iPhone 8 come out great and pack in a lot of details in a very vibrant color spectrum. The 8 does not have the second lens nor a software depth mode but the f1.8 aperture ensures a beautiful blur if you focus the camera right. For almost all kinds of shots, the iPhone 8 exposes the shots really really well and you only have to use the exposure toggle if you want that extra pro mode control. The iPhone 8's HDR mode is very friendly and helps take great pictures and exposes the shot just right. iPhone 8 produces pleasing colors and natural tones for almost all kinds of objects. Taking macro photos of flowers and insects is fun and the incredible detailing of the shots brings smiles. Since the Apple ISP with the A11 chipset has a great sense for scenes, the iPhone is dynamic for almost all kinds of landscapes. I particularly love this image here and look at this shot. The bird has been captured perfectly with the excellent shutter speed at the right moment. In lower lighting, the iPhone 8 holds the fold with the help of the optical limit stabilization and shots come out to be great. Like most sensors, increasing the exposure turns up the noise but the iPhone 8 does really well to brighten the overall scene whilst keeping noise at bay as you can see in the shots to come. The flash does illuminate subjects in a very balanced way at night and this white rose was captured around 8pm. Shadows are maintained really well in even very dim lighting and the focusing system slows down but that is pretty normal considering that it is a face detect auto focusing system. A few night shots including this particular bokeh in my car impressed me and I'm really happy that the f1.8 aperture does a good job. So the iPhone 8 won't disappoint that much in low light. This is an example of the true tone flash being used in a very nicely lit scenario to bring in more details. Let's now talk about selfies taken on the iPhone 8 and we have a 7 megapixel f2.2 front camera which is slightly disappointing. I wished we had a bigger aperture but what's done is done. Selfies are once again just a 3D touch away. An instant minor disappointment for me is the omission of a wide angle lens and it makes it very difficult to accommodate more heads in selfies. Selfies pack in good detail and are exposed really well. The color reproduction is very natural and eye pleasing and there's no over sharpening Samsung smartphones. Selfies in lower light come out decent too and the screen flash does manage to improve the scene to a considerable extent as you can see here. The video ability has been turning heads as the iPhone 8 packs in industry leading codecs like 4K video recording up to 60 frames per second along with the usual 1080p at 60 frames per second. In almost all kinds of video recording, the optical image stabilization works really well and the focusing, exposure and the color balance is perfect. 4K video at 60 frames per second is buttery smooth and the color reproduction is nice and the phone did not heat up that much while taking 4K videos. If you like taking a lot of videos then the iPhone 8 is your perfect companion as it is water resistant and can take great footage at great quality. Dinosaur you just heard was my Labrador in slow motion 240 frames per second at 1080p. However, the focusing may not work that well if the subject is howling towards you. Alternatively, the slow motion will struggle in low light. I would like to show you some more footage in 4K 60 frames per second. A thing worth mentioning is that the iPhone 8 manages to reduce the file sizes of photos and videos because of the new HEIF and HEVC codecs. It's amusing to know that the 944KB file houses a 12 megapixel P3 color gamut image and this is all thanks to Apple's new HEVC and HEIF codecs. So your iPhone 8 won't run out of space that easily. Unlike the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone X, the iPhone 8 has no secondary camera lens and so you cannot take bokeh effect portraits like you can take on the Pixel 2 that even does not have the second lens. So the iPhone 8 has a great camera but I think you should also have a look at the Pixel 2.